Hey brothers and sisters, hope you're all doing well and you know I'm gonna this is gonna be a really short video. I know I always say that, but this one really will be short. Just today I had one of those horrible days. You know one of those days where everything that can possibly annoy you happens and um I had a visitor to the house and to use a word the millennials would use, I was triggered, completely triggered by this person and it brought me I've been through some trauma in my life and it brought me back to those times and I felt like I was having the same reactions that I had in the past, even though these are things the Lord has been dealing with me for, you know, and helping me get over them for so many years. And I thought they were completely in the past, but there were certain things today that just triggered me and I got so in the flesh. And, you know, I'm always the first person to say, run to the throne of grace and, you know, leave it all at the Lord's feet. But, you know, we often in these situations just don't even think of that. So what did I do instead? I went and I started to vent, uh, venting to everyone. And, you know, what does venting do? It, it doesn't help us because all it does is the more we speak on it and the more we think on it, the worse it gets. I mean, the more you look at something, the more it'll magnify. So the more I spoke about it, the angrier I was getting and the more despair I felt um, because I can't change the situation. And I was so frustrated and wanted it to be changed so much. And I was just venting and venting and in despair. And, you know, it's all negativity as well because those listening can't help you. I mean, they can pray for you, but they can't change the situation. So it's, you know, who wants to listen to complaining? Um, but, you know, I, I let loose and had a great old time venting. But by the end of it, I was just so frustrated. And then I was kicking myself because I was like, why didn't I just run straight to the throne of grace? Because only the Lord can help us, especially in those situations where we can't change. We can't change the situation ourselves. But, you know, it's so easy to just to get into the flesh and, you know, start ruminating and meditating on, oh, I wish I could change all of this. Um, and the second I went to the Lord, well, not the second, I was pretty angry. <laughs> but, you know, after sitting with the Lord and just giving it all to him and saying, Lord, I can't change the situation. I have no solution for this. And, you know, I'm angry and I'm upset and I feel this way and I feel that way. And then I start reminding myself of how good he is and how faithful he is and, you know, who I am in him. And all of a sudden that anger starts to lift, the frustration, the despair, it all starts to lift. Um, the Lord is so good. And you know, the thing is, if it were good for me for that situation to just go instantly, you know, it, it would go. The Lord gives us what's good for us, what's good for us and what's for his glory. So if I'm still here and I'm still dealing with these situations, you know, A, I'm being grown through these difficult situations. But B, maybe I'm here to help that person who came to the house today. I hope not because I don't think I could take another visit. But, you know, maybe I am. Maybe that's why I'm still here in this house. Um, but, you know, either way, everything we go through, there's a purpose to it. If you're a born again believer, everything we're going through, there's a purpose to it. It's refining us. It's growing us. Sometimes we go through trials and challenges that aren't even for us. They're so that we can speak into the lives of others. Um, and we certainly grow the most when we're going through difficult times. Um, so anyway, my, the long and the short of this whole thing is I'm, I'm preaching to myself in this video and hopefully I'll listen to it and listen to my own advice because, you know, I wasted a few hours today just feeling so angry and negative um, and transmitting that to others instead of just running to the, to the throne of grace because the Lord has all the answers. We don't, there's nothing we can do when we get in the flesh, you know, sometimes we want to justify ourselves before others or prove others wrong or, you know, just try to have somebody give us a solution or, you know, just because we're so angry with another person, just, uh, you know, that person who came in today really did push my buttons. But anyway, um, you know, it gets us nowhere. It gets us nowhere and it does no good. So the quicker we run to the throne room, the quicker we leave that at the Lord's feet, the quicker we get past it. Um, so anyway, that's my little, my little bit of advice. I'm not going to go on any further, but you know, the Lord is there every second try, and he wants to help us. He wants to be mighty on our behalf. He wants to lead us through it. He wants to grow us. He wants a relationship with us. He loves us so much. It doesn't matter what situation we see in our life or how much we want it changed or, you know, there is a purpose to it. There truly is. And uh, the quicker we go to the throne room and the quicker we look to him, the quicker that despair and anger and frustration will lift. And even though the situation may not change, um, we can get through it much easier and be much happier and more at peace. 
So anyway, I hope this blesses someone. God bless brothers and sisters.